Hey what's up everyone, in this video I want to talk to you guys about 3 things as a quality engineer that you should know about. First, why knowing just manual testing is not good enough anymore. Second, types of automation you can use to help with your testing. And third, what is an SDET and the roles and responsibility of an SDET. And then we're going to talk about one of the main topics of this video which is likely the reason you're here and that is what this new academy is about and what are the benefits of joining this academy. Make sure to stick till the end as I have also some bonus content for you. But before that, it is important to go over these three points. So as you guys already know that the software testing jobs have seen a lot of change over the past few years. And I've seen them firsthand in the past seven years of my experience. Now this has been mainly due to organizations moving towards an agile and shift left approach. Because of that, companies are trying to get the products and features out in front of the customers in an extremely fast manner and they want to make sure they do that without sacrificing on the quality. And that's where you guys come in. As a quality engineer, you will ensure that the product meets the expected quality standards. But wait, the question is, how do you do that? If you're just manually testing the products or features which are being released almost weekly or even on a daily basis, you will have to be on top of your game all the time to make sure your product is stable. We all know that didn't work in the past, it doesn't work in the present, and it will most definitely not work in the future. So we need to do better than this. Now the easiest way to do this is by putting automated processes in place. Now when I talk about automation, I'm not simply talking about front-end automation here. That is important, but at the same time, you also need to consider back-end automation and also go one step ahead and consider non-functional automations as well, such as your performance, accessibility, security, and so on. And on top of that, you might also be doing all of this testing for different platforms even, such as web, mobile, desktop, and so on. I know all of this sounds like a lot, but don't worry, you do not have to know how to implement all of this, but you should have enough knowledge to consider these as part of your testing plan. Now coming to the main part of this video, at this point you are thinking, well, how do I learn all of this? Or even how do I get started with this? Well, I have some great news for you guys. I have just launched an academy called the SDET Unicorns Academy, or in short, the SDETU Academy. And the entire goal behind this SDETU Academy is to make you one of the best SDETs in the industry that has the technical skill set to implement such testing plans and strategies for your organization. Now, before we move into more detail about this academy, let's talk about what is a SDET and what are the roles and responsibilities of a SDET. I'm sure a lot of you have heard this term and have seen appearing in a lot of the job postings recently. So in short, SDET stands for Software Developer in Test. Now when I ask people about what are the responsibilities of a SDET, they will typically say something like, SDET is someone that has programming knowledge and can build test automation framework. So basically, programming plus test automation framework equals to SDET role. This is such a common misconception for this role. While programming and building test automation frameworks are important, it only covers one part of this role. Now I'm not going to cover the entire roles and responsibilities of a SDET, that's an entire video on its own, but on a high level, this is what SDET roles and responsibilities entail. So the first one is understanding of the product from an end-to-end -end perspective. So you need to understand how the product is built from an end-to-end -end perspective, and I do not just mean know the functionality of the product, but instead understand the architecture that is being used to develop this product from front-end to back-end to release processes and so on. Having the understanding will help you test the product better and you can come up with testing strategies accordingly. Second, having technical skill set to provide the solutions needed to improve the quality of the product. Now, what I need you to focus over here is that I'm not telling you what tools or frameworks to use here or which automation to implement. All I'm saying is that you should have the technical skill set to gauge what solution is required to improve the quality of the product. Now this can be done in X number of ways, whether that's simply manually testing the product or implementing automation strategies or improving release processes or it could be the mix of all. And the third one is the soft skills required to collaborate with the team effectively. Now this is something I see so many people simply ignore and in my honest opinion, this is one of the most important skill set of an SDAD. Now what does soft skills involve? Well some of the top ones in no particular order are communication, leadership, teamwork, problem solving and empathy. If you do not have these soft skills, no matter how good you are from technical standpoint, no one would want to work with you. 
All right, this should give you a good initial understanding of what the SDAT role on a high level is. Now let's talk about how you can get there. So the goal of the SDAT Unicorns Academy is for you to gain all the skills required, which will help you to boost your career and get you that desired job that you're looking for. So with the SDATU Academy, you can get access to all the courses and material with the all access membership, which you can pay in monthly or an annual basis. So let's talk about what you will get out of this membership. So some of the benefits are you will have unlimited access to all the existing as well as the future courses. So no matter how many courses I add in the future, if you get the membership at the current price, you will have access to all of that. You will also have access to private Discord community where you can reach out to me directly or have discussions with your fellow students. As part of your courses, you will also have exercises and quizzes to practice your skills. You will also have direct support from me. So if you are stuck anywhere or if you need help with something, I will be there to guide you along the way. You can also download all of the content to watch it offline anywhere and anytime you want. And at the end, when you complete your course, you will get custom certificates specifically for your course completion. All right, so I hope you guys are excited about this. To get more information about the Academy, check out the link in the description below. Now, as promised for the bonus content, I will be giving 50% off on the first monthly payment for the next seven days. Simply use the coupon half off at the checkout. Also, there's no commitment with this membership. In fact, you get 30 days of refund policy with the Academy if you're not happy with your purchase. So it's time to begin your Estate journey by joining the Academy today.